Welcome back. So, uh, Winter here. Uh, in the last episode, we we had built one microchip factory, and we were kind of we had a lot of uh, jobs that had been unfilled. So we needed more population. So I went and built uh, quite a few of these landing pads. They're cheap. They only cost a thousand ore. Uh, and so I built a bunch of them so that we could get people coming, flowing in really quickly because we always want to have max population. Uh, and I built a lot of apartment or residential complexes, as you can see, a chunk here and a chunk here and building a chunk down here, keeping them close to the factories. Uh, and these are all, um, they all kind of filled up quite quickly, which was nice. So they're all at 26 of 26. Should zoom in for you mobile viewers. Uh, let's build a few more just for fun. Noticing, notice that I'm building them back to back. As long as one face is uh, is open to a road or the outside, the workers can get in and out. And this way you're maximizing your space when you build them back to back. You don't want to go three rows though because then you can't upgrade and get to the center row, but the rows of two seem to be optimal. Uh, the other thing I did was I went and I built out roads to all the aluminum deposits. I'll zoom out here so so that when we get the aluminum refinery our our aluminum refiners can get out there really quickly same with these uranium deposits oh i noticed i missed a few here so let's build some roads here we can delete these roads later easily and they're cheap so it's worth the speed of the collection oh there's one here too now i built a little square around them because just the way the collectors work, they um, they sometimes just they're not smart. They don't like if I built a road just directly straight to the ore, uh, it wouldn't necessarily stay on the road. Sometimes they they go off road and they slow right down, and we don't want that. We want the fastest collection possible. So since we built so many microchip factories, and this is probably a good amount. Um, later on, we can upgrade them and they can, they can produce a lot more chips, microchips. But uh, right now we got 980 something odd microchips. So we can build some new stuff. And I sure want to build some new stuff. So the aluminum refinery, we're going to do that next because we want to get some aluminum because it's super important. And there's only so much of it on the map. So you want to spend it quite sparingly until you get an aluminum generator, um, which comes quite a bit later, but once you have the alumina, alumina, uh, aluminum generator, or for you Australian guys, aluminium gen generator, <laughs> um, you want to, yeah, you want to conserve it. You can still buy it on the, on, through the market, but it's, it's pretty expensive. So let's build that aluminum refinery and let's stick it up here because we got a lot of deposits here and the the way the I'll zoom out yeah most of them are over here and the way the refiners will go back to this refinery obviously so it's good to have it close to the resource so let's build it there and this refinery once it's built opens up a new vehicle type the aluminum refiner. Um, so let's build one of those or two. Aluminum miner. Uh, I might have been saying refiner. Miner. Uh, cost some microchips, but let's build. Let's build five of them because we like to do things in parallel. Let's get these harvesting while the other ones are building. Sometimes the they'll load behind the building, which is kind of annoying. And notice that they're not pathing on the road properly, so you want to build a road for them around the factory. I mean the refinery. So 
Let's build a few more. The more the merrier. See, even though I built a road, sometimes they go off-road. So, how much aluminum do we have so far? 500 and 500 or so, and it's going up really fast. So they'll they'll work through these these nodes pretty fast, I think, since we have so many refiners. That's probably enough for now. Um, now the other exciting building we can build is the ore fracking operation. Now this will save us from uh, these vehicles having to go into these and harvest. It's kind of a manual process to go and build these and then they get depleted and then build them again. That's not really that entertaining. Um, so what the ore fracking lets you do is just get the ore without any vehicles. It's really nice. So let's build that. Uh, where should we put it? Let's put it uh, let's put it over here. I mean, it doesn't much matter, but oh, let's take it down by these these things here. Uh, we're fracking. It's pretty big. Um, takes a decent amount of gold and steel. It's gonna take a while to build. Some of the buildings later on, even if you have like 10 builders, they take a couple minutes to build. I guess this isn't too, isn't too bad. Now you'll notice I built up a lot of these power towers, or sorry, solar towers. Uh, and we're okay for power right now. We'll be good. I kind of overbuilt so we didn't have to micromanage them. Um, and later on, we'll be able to build a nuclear power plant. Uh, but first things first. So here's our ore fracking operation. Notice that it got to 14 out of 14 workers right away, which is good. It means we're lots of people flowing in and looking for work. Uh, and it generates ore at a pretty good rate. Uh, I'm going to turn on the text poppers so we can see the amounts. 50. So it's generating 50 ore kind of every three or four seconds, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm not really sure the rate that these guys are. I think they carry, uh, oh, I'm running out of the hard disk space. Interesting. Um, <laughs> probably from these videos. So, um, I think the capacity of these ore guys is about 30, so they'll pick up 30 and dump 30, but tax. Lots of pop-ups today. Uh, let's build another few of these, even though we're just swimming. Uh, actually, never mind. We'll, we won't build any more of these for now because we're swimming in ore. The other thing I built uh, in between the last video is these more atmospheric generators. The medium kind, not the small kind. So we're up to 35,000 atmosphere. We want to get to half a million uh, to unlock some other stuff, uh, which allows you to even quit more quickly get the atmosphere going. So let's build a few more of those. Yeah, let's build two more of those or three more of those. Um, how are we doing for aluminum? Oh, we're already up to 5,000 aluminum or so, which is excellent. The other thing that got unlocked and now we can actually make is I'm going to use uh, oh, I'll go from here the gold synthesis lab which is pretty expensive it takes 4500 gold but we got tons we got 75,000 so this just basically turns ore which we have a bazillion of and turns it directly into gold so then we can just forget about all this all this stuff going on here and just uh, go straight to the matter. So I'll build one over there. 60 microchips. 
they're pretty even though they're tiny they take uh, take a while to build and they're not going to be built oh here here comes our builders actually it's going pretty fast so let's build a few more of those Actually, let's not. Let's just look at some new buildings instead. Okay. Another new building is the Civic Center. Pretty important. Uh, it generates civics, which you need to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, the key thing being getting to independence, if you want. I mean, if you start with Earth, independence is nice because then you don't have to pay tax. But if you're starting under another player's charter, then paying tax isn't such a bad thing because um, you're part of a kind of a player-made group which is fun so let's build one of these they're pretty expensive um, but well worth it and we're gonna want to build over time probably about 50 of these and the reason is they're pretty slow to build up civics there's another building that comes up called the bank which generates civics, even more civics than these things. And they also generate cash. So maybe we won't go as crazy with these civic buildings and just wait for the banks to come. Now the atmosphere condenser I mentioned in the last video, it consumes your atmosphere and generates water. We don't want to do that, do that yet because we want to actually uh, build up our atmosphere. And we got lots of water. Um, or do we? Yeah, we got some water still left here. It actually doesn't consume much atmosphere and it generates a lot of water in the process, so maybe we will build one. Let's build one. Over here. It, it makes a lot of water. Um, which is nice. Okay, what else we got here? We got a statue. That was new last episode, I think, but I didn't build one. That's just a novelty kind of thing. Uh, we won't build that for now. Uh, walls, I didn't, I mean, we've had those for a long time, but walls let you cordon off areas to kind of smarten up the, uh, the pathing AI so that it, it, you know, it doesn't go in weird directions. Here's our gold synthesis lab working already, generating 15 gold every five seconds or so. It also generates atmosphere. Um, so these are really nice. Eventually we'll tear all this down and we won't have to build these gold mines anymore. Uh, but not until we have quite a few of them. Uh, durable goods warehouse we never built yet. And we might as well because it's useful. I kind of put the storage of st over in its own area. So let's put it over here. It's pretty cheap to build and it has a few upgrade levels. From here it goes to Brick Warehouse and from there it goes to Quantum Warehouse which holds I think 150,000 of each thing. So now we got it uh, built. It allows you to store computer chips. I think it holds 10,000 of each so Let's build another one just to show you. So right now we can hold 19,000 computer chips and after this we should, I think it'll go to 29,000. Let's just see. Yes, oh 22,000. Okay, I was wrong. Um, one interesting tip, if you buy things on the market and you don't have enough storage, you can buy it anyway. And it just kind of goes over the amount that you that you have. So storage is only kind of key if, I mean, once your storage is overfilled, your buildings won't be generating stuff anymore. So let's say I, I got to, let's say I bought some computer chips on the market and went to 30,000 over 20,000 of my storage. These factories would stop stop filling up. It would stop generating computer chips because my storage was maxed. 
I don't know. It was just interesting. I mean, at some point they might fix that if it is uh, something that's broken. So we got a few more new buildings that popped up here. Um, the medical clinic, um, which is useful. It costs, uh, oh, these popped up because we now have some civics being generated uh, from these civic buildings, civic centers. Uh, they take 50 civics to build, so we can't build it yet. It's rare that your, your workers will get sick. I've only had one sick uh, in this in my other map or other thing it's pretty rare unless you like treat your your people really bad um so you want to build one of these at least well one 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 should do you um the bank it's pretty key it costs 200 civics so it's kind of like the these refineries like they cost steel to upgrade and they generate steel so there's kind of like a payback time. So I would suggest making maybe 20 or 30 of these civic buildings first because they don't they don't cost civics. So you're not you're not digging into your civics pool. And then once you have enough civics um, maybe let's say 400 or 600 you can start slowly building these banks. Banks are pretty efficient at making cash. They're not the most efficient, but in terms of buildings that don't require any inputs. Um, so you'll want to build a lot of these too. And then the consulate. You only need one of these. In fact, I think you can only build one. Uh, and it lets you set policies for your workers and they let you do the fire drill. So I'll get into that in a future video. Uh, spaceport. It uh, lets you bring tourists onto the planet. Uh, I don't have enough civics to build it yet, and I'll probably save it for a different video. So, what else do we got? Uh, do I have nuclear? Okay, so we have research here. I'm going to research advanced nuclear physics because. I'm getting tired of building these solar towers. They generate generate 45 power. I think the nuclear power plant generates 4,000. So it's worthwhile to build one of them, but I wouldn't build any more than one because your uranium supplies are really limited and it's really expensive. And shortly after the nuclear power plant, you get a you get the technology to build a power plant that consumes water and generates power in you want to build build those instead of the nuclear power plant. So let's, uh, did we unlock it? Let's unlock physics. And nuclear reactor, so here it is. Takes a lot of microchips, generates 4,000 power, costs 1,000 aluminum, which is quite a bit of aluminum, but we've got 10,000. That won't stay like that for long because we're gonna once we've consumed all the aluminum on the planet, uh, we're going to run out pretty quickly. So let's build this power plant over by all our other power plants, just for consistency. It is big. Um, as you can see, it will take a little while to build. So you'll notice our population is maxed again. So we want to build some more housing and we want to build it close to our our new building and our our you know where we have lots of workers. So I'm going to build um I'm going to build some residential complexes right here. I'm going to build a bunch because we're capped out on population and we want to keep that going up. So the nuclear reactor can build its own vehicles, the uranium miner, uh, just kind of like the aluminum refinery. Uh, so we want to build a few of these. They cost aluminum, but we got a lot right now. So where 
Jersey. I built one, but he's probably hiding somewhere in the building. No? There he is. He's hiding it under behind this thing. Kind of annoying. Um, let's move him here. Uh, there he is. I should zoom in more often. I gotta keep remembering to do that. Okay, so here he is. Uh, let's get him harvesting. Off he goes. He'll go right here first. This one's close. So each deposit has 1,500. We got uh, one, two, three. We got some around. Um, so uranium is pretty precious. It costs a lot to buy. Like if you buy it at market price here, let's, oh, we can't buy it yet from this thing. But it's expensive. Um, so let's build a few. Oh yeah, 